Today, I want to talk about um, an assignment 5.8, and it has to do with word concordance. And what that means is um, we're looking at a, at a text file. We're going to pull in the words from a text file, and we're going to count the number of words that there are as far as um, their individual unique words. So I think there's an example of Sam I am, some I am, and so we'll count the number of Sams, the number of I's, and the number of ams. All right, so let's see here. The first thing that we need to do is have a, uh, a text file that has that data. So I'm going to go ahead and take a look at one and create one. Then. Okay, so for this to work, you want your text file to be in the same directory as your .py file. So I'm going to call mine word concordance. And my data file is I am Sam, I am Sam, Sam, I am. am. And uh, I have Bob, Sarah, Jen, Jen, Jen. And they're all in the same directory. Okay. So let's move this stuff out. And uh, I call my text file data. I mean, you can name it whatever you want. Okay. So as usual, we're going to want to, um, we're going to want to put our, our header up here. So I'll just do that real quick. And the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to write the code that is going to um, pull the data from the file. So I'm going to do that real quick. All right, so what I did here is I put uh, retrieve words from text files a comment and I'm just going to call mine f it stands for file so f equal data dot text and f equal open f and then read and this r stands for read so we're going to open the file data text file and read it all right so we op we're going to open our file the next thing I need to prep is I need to pr prep a um, a list where I'm going to collect the uh, the data Sorry guys, had too much coffee this morning, I'm not thinking that. Alright, so that's going to be our list for collecting our data. And the next thing we want to do is we want to parse our data and we're going to, um, we're going to use a for loop and we're going to iterate through the list and we're going to split each line into words and then we're going to split those words. Um, every word we're going to enter that every word into the uh, into the list. So I'm going to write some code and then I'll explain it. All right. So what I did here is in the first for loop, we're going to iterate through each line of code in the file, and we're going to split them into the individual words. And that's why I uh, commented this stuff here. Then we're going to have another for loop, and in the second for loop, we're going to iterate through each line and we're, we're or through each word, excuse me. And we're going to uh, append every word into the uh, into the uh, the list. I keep wanting to call it an array, but it's a list. So that's what these two do here: is parse individual words and then populate the words into the list. Okay, so then I wrote this next line here, and here it was just really simple. All we're doing is we're sorting the list by alpha. So we have the list name dot sort calls out the, uh, the function sort, and it sorts it. The next line of code here is, is uh, what I call the word dictionary. So I just uh, called it the variable WD. So it's going to be WD for dictionary. And the reason we're going to use a dictionary is because this is the perfect place for a dictionary. Uh, we're going to be keeping track of two different um, elements. We're going to be keeping track of the word itself, and then also the number of, uh, of times that word appears, or the frequency. 
So that's what, what this is for, for the uh, words and the word counts. Now here, um, this line of code, uh, these three lines of code here, all they do is they go through the word dictionary, or excuse me, the list. They're gonna, it's going to iterate through the list, every word in the list, and it's going to count them. That's it. There's a, um, there, there's a, a function here that would, will count every word in there, and so we just say count them. That's it. And, uh, we, we take that count and we add it to our, to our dictionary. So that's what's happening right here. The next thing I added was these lines of code right here. And this is to retrieve the words and the word counts from the dictionary. So really simple. Now I did add a couple of things that the assignment didn't ask for. I, I did some formatting just so it'll come out nice. Um, I did eight spaces. So this just means we're going to space by eight and they're going to be centered. And we're going to format the column headers as word and count. Uh, that's what I'm going to call them. You could call this frequency. It doesn't really matter. And uh, then I have a for loop here. And in the for loop, what we're going to do here with the for loop is we're going to say for every word in the word dictionary, we're going to print out and we're going to format, format the output also with the same formatting as we did with the, uh, with the words, with the header, with the only difference being that this one has a D because it's going to be the decimal value of the returned count. And so um, we have our header formatting, then we, we pass the uh, two elements that are the two data elements that are in their dictionary. So the word and then the word count. And uh, it's formatted and that's it. It's really, really simple. And the last part here, all this is for is so that when we run it, it will pause the console. That's all this is. This line of code is for. So that's really simple. Um, that's all there is to it. We can go ahead and run this. It should work. Uh, I haven't tested it, so hopefully it'll work. Okay, yeah. All right, so here's our word count. Um, let's see, I'll put them right here. And uh, you can see that the um, it it's puts out what was in the... Uh, what was in the, t the data file. Let me see if I can grab the data file real quick. Okay, and then here's, uh, here's our data file. And you can see that the counts are correct. Um, and that's, that's really it, people. Um, we opened up a, t a, a text file. We, we counted the words. And we put them in alphanumeric order, and we counted them. And uh, really, really simple, not a lot to it. This is a very common task that you'll have to do um, in this field, but it's uh, really simple. I, I commented it a lot, so that, that way you can uh, see what every line of code does. Um, I'll just leave it paused for a minute so you guys can uh, can evaluate it. All right, well, that's it.